On today's Juice Diaries, this juice is great for your skin and great for weight loss management. It's going to focus on your gut health, give you the key essentials to get your weight loss journey started or give you a better skin regimen. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into the video. So if you're new to my channel, I am currently four months postpartum and I'm trying to get rid of this baby weight and just get to the back to the shape that I was already in. If you're returning here, you already know the deets. It's just crazy how last year I had a six pack ab and now I'm working to get back down. But anywho, comment down below um, what your journey is and why you're here. We're gonna start off with watermelon. This watermelon was previously cut um, and I just stored it in the fridge. Watermelon have 90% water packed with vitamin C and A great with magnesium and potassium so that means water in water out they're great for flushing out your body next on the cutting block we have one pineapple isn't she gorgeous who loves the sweet taste of pineapple I know I sure do but I'm gonna tell you some of the things that the pineapples can do for you First and foremost, like the watermelon, the pineapple is a high content of water, which means more water that you get in, the more you get out, okay? Because we said we said this year we were drinking water and we were minding our business. So for those of you who don't like to drink a lot of water, get you a fruit or a vegetable that has a high water content. Next, pineapples are great for naturally exfoliating your skin and just giving you that beautiful and clear skin. Next, not only does it help you look beautiful and help flush out things out of your body, it also fights against cold and cough and it is great for boosting your immune system and they are packed with antioxidants. Next, we have one cup of blackberries, rich in vitamin C, helps even out your skin tone and hydrate your skin. Next, we have one cup of strawberries, delicious, low calorie, and helps exfoliate your skin like the blackberries. Now, like I told you guys before, I'm trying to kick out all of those things out of my body to give me a better gut health from just having a child and to overall get that old thing back. So don't be afraid to step out, step outside your comfort zone, step outside the box, love the skin that you're in until you get to a place where you want to be. Maybe if that's looking better, maybe it's that feeling better, maybe it's just having more mental clarity. For me, um, I like Okay, so my watermelon one had so much water content, it actually filled this large mason jar and I had some for later. Now this one I'm gonna put in the fridge and I'm going to consume it with my dinner that I'm having. You guys asked how I drink these. Um, check out what I eat in the day that I posted last week. to our green-ish juice okay the first thing we have is kale now you're not even going to be able to taste the kale in this i promise you tag me when you try it on instagram at body for days by instagram tag me when you try this you're not going to be able to taste the kale at all okay so kale is great for um, inflammation um, if you are the type of person that you swell a lot you hold on to a lot of water retention um, kale is an anti-inflammatory vegetable, okay? It has tons of antioxidants. It's very, very low in calorie. Um, it's very, um, it, it does have carbs, but it's very low carb, um, rich in vitamin K, calcium, rich in vitamin C, vitamin A, and it has tons of potassium. So all, things, all these things together, it's going to work on your cholesterol, um, help you with 
having strong bones, um, aid in weight loss management, um, great for your eyes, and it's also going to reduce um, your cardiovascular. So it's going to help with help, uh, uh, heart disease and also fight against some cancers. Next, we have three green apples. Now, some of you guys on my last uh, Juice Diary video asked me what was the difference between green apples and red apples. Green apples have more um, nutrients in them. They have more fiber. They are lower in calories. They have more protein. They are essentially healthier in those aspects. A red apple is still healthy, but a green apple is healthier. So if you wanted to know that answer to that question, there it is there. And green apples also increase your metabolism. Um, they're good for your bones. And for the girls, they're great for anti-aging. So if you're looking for something that's going to reverse the hands of time, green apples. They are great as a snack as well because they are very, very low in calorie. They are very great to put some bacteria into your gut. Next, we have one cup of green grapes. They are great for fatigue. So get yourself up and go get you some grapes, okay? And add it to your juice so you can work out and you not be tired, all right? And next, we're going to add another half of that watermelon that we had from that first juice. Along with the other great things I told you about kale earlier in the video, fun fact, kale has more iron than beef. So I'm a person where like over half of my life I've been dealing with low iron and trying to figure out how I can feel better how I can be more active, how I can not feel like I just want to lay down all the time. Kale. Add some kale to your normal um, regimen of your diet or your everyday eating for people who don't like to diet per se or call it that. Um, just so are high in calcium, okay? So if you're starting to juice and you're thinking about juicing and you just don't know where to start, check out down below. I have a playlist called Juice Diaries and I'm just using simple ingredients that work with each other for a particular thing. If it's weight loss management, skin management, uh, gut health, um, working as uh, anti-inflammatory um, for my iron deficiency, I, I normally um, just juice things that benefit my body in a good way, okay? Because we work from the inside out. Good, good stuff in means what? You get good stuff out. So comment down below right now um, if you have tried any of my juice diaries or what you're drinking today. If you juice today or if you juice this week, comment down below. Um, if you wanted me to try out a particular thing and show it on my channel, um, you can go ahead and do so as well. Remember, once you juice these, um, if you want to put them in the fridge, you can put them in the fridge for about two to three days. Or if you want to have them over a week's time and you're busy and you're on the go, you have so much to do, um, you can put them in a plastic container and then put them in the freezer um, before you get ready to drink them. Just take them out, put them in the fridge or carry them with you um, so you can so you can consume them. But nevertheless, always work on yourself. Always work on getting better. Um, it's going to be messy, um, <laughs> it, but it's a great start to your journey. Um, as far as me, my goal is to lose about 50 to 60 pounds to get back where I was before my child, before my last child. I have three, okay? So... This is my 16 ounce um, glass and it does get a little messy like I told you guys, but it's so 
worth it after trying to cl clean up as much as you go as you are preparing this and this juice was so good I had one my husband had one and I sat there in y'all face and drank the whole thing and that's how good it was tag me if you want more videos like this um like my channel support my channel visit my website thebodyfordays.com for more free recipes and i'm just showing you guys how i um what i take out of my juice before i store it into the fridge um, pop it in there or put it over ice and you are ready to go if you want more videos like this um Write more please down in the comments. Like this video before you get any further. And I will talk to you guys on the last on the next video.